You're back with The Home Entertainer. Hi, I'm Kathy Bay. Today's topic is an exciting one. Five things to consider when buying a quality pool table. Number one, what size is right for you? I know this is going to sound very simple, but it's actually a little bit more complicated when you're buying a pool table. So you're going to hear a lot of people use the term regulation. Just so you know, all regulation means is that the length of the pool table is twice the width. If they're calling a 9-foot pool table regulation or an 8-foot pool table regulation, then they really don't know what they're talking about because all of those are regulation pool tables. Let me illustrate what I mean. When you're looking at a pool table, for example, an 8-foot home, which is the most popular size, you're going to want to measure from the inside of one cushion to the opposite inside-facing cushion. So from there to here, we're exactly at 44 inches which also means that from here to the other end of the pool table, we're going to be at 88 inches. Make sense? Let me give you a little background on the evolution of pool table sizes. We used to have tons of sizes available, but today you can really break it down to three sizes. Seven foot, eight foot, nine foot. And yes, you guessed it, all of the lengths are double the width. But as you may notice, taking the eight foot pool table, for example, again, it's not actually going to measure exactly at 8 feet. Your measurement will always be 44 by 88 inches. Now, after you consider that, what you want to do is say, all right, from the inside of that pool table, of the play field, I want to have approximately 5 feet of stroking distance, so that way you don't hit the wall with the pool cue. If you're concerned about size, don't be alarmed. There are a lot of different sizes of cues as well. A totally standard cue is going to be around 57 to 58 inches, and that's where we get that 5 foot measurement from. However, there are shorter cues, 52 inch, 48, and even shorter. I hope that makes a lot of sense, but as you consider a pool table, remember the only measurement that really matters is this inside play field. Number two. Let's talk about slate. Let me break it to you. If you're looking at a pool table and it doesn't have slate, it is not a quality pool table. So when you're considering slate, remember this. You're going to want a one inch thick slate. The reason for that is it's the perfect density and weight that will actually keep the table level. And without a level pool table, you really don't have a fun game. So that's really important. Secondly, when considering where you're getting the slate from, you want to think about if you can get slate from Brazil or Italy. Those are going to be the two best countries because they have the most advanced technological machinery to actually mine and hone your slate, which again makes your play field much more accurate. Number three, what raw materials make up your pool table? You have options such as laminate, which is shown here, and a lot of us are really familiar with. But did you know that a lot of the pool tables on the market today are actually a press board with a veneer wrapped all the way around it? The problem is this, a lot of people don't tell you exactly what you're looking at. A pool table that's veneered versus a pool table that's solid wood is like a cubic zirconia versus a diamond. I have to tell you, you've got to do your homework here because a solid wood pool table will outlast yourself and your children really can be viewed more as an investment than a purchase. So what I recommend is do your due diligence and make sure that you're working with a reputable manufacturer that actually tells you which pool table is a solid wood. There are pool tables on the market for $5,000 that are actually a veneered product. You have to do your research. Number four, what style is right for you? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised to see how many options there are, like these. So what's your style? Is it rustic? Or how about retro? Something a bit more casual? Or something classic like this beautiful antique reproduction? Whatever your style is, I'm sure it's beautiful. But mind you, as you're designing your game room, consider pool tables to be more of a furniture piece. They've come a long way in design. Number five, what budget is right for you? Now remember, we're talking about quality pool tables. So I would probably recommend setting a budget around $3,000. Anything less than that is available, and I'm sure you've seen it plenty out there. But the reality is, if you can spend $3,000 on a pool table, you should be getting a solid wood, high quality pool table that will become an heirloom piece in your family. For example, 
When you move up from one price to another, even in the solid wood category, you'll see that the frame and the legs get more and more detailed. Let me show you. If you come to this one, you'll see that the frame is curved and the legs have a lot more detailing as well. It's really important to note these things because they not only take research and development to create, but also more raw material and more workmanship and time. As we move from this one, even just the little basic thing, like the rail. The profile of this rail versus this one right next to it has a huge difference. These are the kind of details you'll have to notice in order to understand why the price goes up. And from this kind of a table on, you'll see some beautiful furniture and wood cabinetry. I mean, this is gorgeous stuff, and this is what I was talking about with how far the tables have come. But remember this. Once you're in the solid wood category, you should be in great shape. All of the tables I've just shown you are going to play the same and last just as long. It's a matter of what you want to set your budget at. So hopefully you found this discussion of what to consider when buying a quality pool table very useful. But if you have more questions, feel free to check out my links and some of my reviews below, and perhaps some of the manufacturer recommendations as well. Anyway, I thank you very much for paying attention to The Home Entertainer. I'm Kathy Bay.